but see with what a troubled glare Orion star is setting there. These words were spoken by the famous poet Horace from ancient Rome 2,000 years ago. The poet likely noticed Betelgeuse's flickering and reddish hue, a characteristic common in red giants, due to fluctuations in their outer layers. As you can tell, Betelgeuse has captured humanity's imagination for centuries. However, in recent years, it has been making headlines not for its presence in the night sky, but for its much-anticipated demise. The red supergiant's brightness has been fluctuating dramatically over the past few years, indicating it may be inching toward its grand collapse, which would be followed by a stellar explosion known as a supernova. Recently, these fluctuations have been anything but normal. Typically, the star's brightness changes in cycles lasting about 400 days. However, after violently blowing off a portion of its atmosphere in 2019, these cycles have shortened significantly. Does this mean we are inching closer to a grand finale? Betelgeuse is approximately 600 light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see today left the star about 600 years ago. This implies a delay of up to 600 years between the actual explosion and our observation of it. In other words, Betelgeuse could have exploded centuries ago, and we might witness the explosion at any time, perhaps even tomorrow. The star is undoubtedly depleting its fuel, but the burning question remains. Will we be fortunate enough to witness this cosmic phenomenon in our lifetime? Scientists now believe there is a major twist in the story. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. In a surprising development, researchers have proposed a new explanation that could rewrite our understanding of this celestial giant. Recent measurements using the ALMA array of telescopes revealed that Betelgeuse rotates surprisingly fast for a star of its size, about once every 20 years. Its surface spins at roughly 18,000 kilometers per hour, 5 kilometers per second, much faster than Earth's rotation. This rapid rotation is highly unusual for such a massive star and challenges our understanding of stellar physics. As we discussed in a previous video on this topic, one theory proposed by scientists to explain this anomaly is stellar cannibalism. They suggest Betelgeuse might have absorbed a companion star, gaining additional angular momentum. Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere contains far more nitrogen than expected which is a sign of recent interior mixing, possibly caused by such an event. Astronomers have conducted detailed analyses and simulations, proposing that Betelgeuse may not have started as a single star, but rather as the product of a collision. As the supergiant aged, its atmosphere extended to the orbit of its companion star. Scientists simulated scenarios in which the companion's gravity funneled material onto itself increasing its mass. Eventually, the companion moved through so much material that friction slowed it down and drew it inward. The outcome depended on factors like the companion's speed, relative mass, and the extent of the primary star's atmosphere. The influx of material disrupted Betelgeuse's helium core, briefly returning it to a hydrogen core fusing stage. However, the simulations showed this phase was short-lived and Betelgeuse soon returned to being a red supergiant. But that might not be the whole story. Newer simulations suggest a companion star could still be involved, but Betelgeuse didn't fully consume it. Betelgeuse is classified as a variable star, displaying consistent cycles of brightness and dimming. These cycles, often compared to a heartbeat, occur over two distinct time scales one lasting just over a year and another about six years. A recent study used computer models to simulate the red supergiant's behavior, exploring possibilities like internal stellar activity and magnetic field fluctuations. However, the analysis consistently pointed to one explanation, the presence of a companion star. The researchers fittingly dubbed this hypothetical companion beetle buddy. Nothing else added up said the lead scientist of the study. Without Beetle Buddy, something far stranger and harder to explain with current physics would have to be occurring. The new model suggests a companion star could clear dust as it orbits Betelgeuse, 
temporarily enhancing its brightness from our perspective. This theory explains Betelgeuse's two distinct pulsation patterns. One cycle, lasting just over a year, is likely inherent to the star, caused by expansion and contraction. The other, spanning about six years, could result from the influence of a companion star. If the longer pulsation represents Betelgeuse's fundamental mode, it may explode sooner than anticipated. Conversely, if the shorter cycle is fundamental, the longer one might be a secondary effect caused by the companion, possibly a star up to twice the sun's mass. Determining which cycle is fundamental is crucial for predicting Betelgeuse's future. The team plans to attempt direct imaging of Betelbuddy soon, with a potential window of visibility around December 6th. We need to confirm that Betelbuddy exists since our results are based on inference, not direct detection, explained one of the researchers. Observations are ongoing to uncover the star's secrets. The Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics has a powerful space-based X-ray telescope called Erosita. One major advantage of Erosita is where it operates in space. Earth's atmosphere stretches surprisingly far, with a vast halo of hydrogen called the Geocorona extending up to 100 times Earth's radius, which is more than 370,000 miles from the surface. Erosita is mounted on a space observatory stationed about 930,000 miles from Earth at this gravitationally stable point where the poles of Earth and the Sun balance. The X-ray observatory is uniquely positioned as the first to capture X-ray images of the sky from completely beyond the reach of our planet's glowing geocorona. Using the telescope, the researchers found that the bubble is expanding more vertically away from the galactic plane rather than along the horizontal plane. This makes sense because vertical directions face less resistance compared to horizontal ones. The researchers found that the uneven temperature distribution in the bubble matched the supernova theory for its formation, suggesting that stars may have indeed been exploding in our region relatively recently, as close as a few million years ago.